And Taylor made to start the uh, 139. I both three title on the line here, and uh, these guys are no strangers to each other. Uh, they fought a triple threat at the 10th anniversary with Aaron Douglas. Um, Bouncer looking to get back into the gold category. Uh oh, no! Oh, it's Explorer T Bone right off the bat. Two count. Bouncer kicks out. It's a tough move to kick out of, but a little too early to be putting them anybody away the caliber of bouncer. Kick right to the calf. And another one. And uh, just stomp it away at bouncer right now. Um, out of all the People that won titles at the, uh, well, actually only two people won titles at the 10th anniversary. Um, Taylor, hybrid and supreme, and Armani won the heavyweight. Um, the only guy to keep their belt on is Taylor Supreme title. Lost his hybrid in the backyard back in, I believe, December. and uh, But he's got a pretty, I would say, a death grip on that Supreme title. He's got it on there pretty good. Is a former Supreme Champion as well. Won it in 2012 in kind of a fluky way, but um, it only held it for a brief time. But now he's got more mature, and he's definitely been able to hold on to championships longer. Um, Taylor May has got a lot of big wins to his name, too. Uh, he defeated CJ Price at the 100 show. Like I said, he won the 10th anniversary against Bouncer and Aaron in a triple threat with both Supreme and Hybrid. And then the season's beatings beat Aaron and CJ in a triple threat to keep his Supreme Champion. This guy, he, he's definitely clutch. Oh, by, by Bouncer. Very nice. Bouncer looking good right now. Float off the rope like that. Got Taylor right where he wants him. A couple, a club and a, and a knee and a club and a, a, another knee. Now Bouncer, I mean, he's been around in WWE. He's literally going on his 10, 10 years now. Since May 2005 he started. Won his first championship in 2010 as part of Black and East Hockey uh, Tag Team Championship, but won his first single belt hybrid championship in 2011. Finally won the big one in 2013, winning the uh, match of the year that year, Six Pack Challenge. Taylor was in that year too. Taylor was a late replacement for Adrian and made you know made a lot of noise in that match. I mean, these are guys that you know have been around for a while and. They've had to been very patient with their opportunities, but when they get them, they make them count. Uh-oh, uh oh can I might go for that backbreaker? Inverted backbreaker. Oh, jeez. Rough landing for Bouncer. Into a cover. Bouncer lost the heavyweight championship at show 120, so he's coming up on about almost 20 shows now. And has been, you know, since the that championship, so. He had a brief run as hybrid champion before Taylor took it. Out. And Bouncer is the only Grand Slam champion on the roster to win all four major championships. Oh, nice punch to the head. Bouncer trying to punch back too. The other man going down. Nice oh, uh, open hand slap. Oh! Taylor got him good there. And an uppercut. Bouncer throws some mean uppercuts. You gotta watch out for that. First of the Irish whip. Taylor got something. Duck in the clothesline. Duck in the clothesline. What a spear. What a spear. Taylor barely gets up off that. Uh-oh. 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 Whoa! German suplex. Folded him up right there. Two big men going flying. Bouncer got the worst of it. Fans getting behind Bouncer right now, and uh, Come on, guys, get up. Taylor's Three. gotten pretty egotistical ever since he won that Supreme oh. Hyper title at the 10th, and uh, 
Let, he never lets the fans forget it. Bouncer up to his feet first. Oh, good kick to the midsection. Two very physical wrestlers. Trying to maybe for another inverted backbreaker, possibly. Oh, uh, reversal, reversal. Hammer lock. Got him in a hammer lock. Uh oh. Got him in a, a headlock. Unique way to get into that headlock. Oh. Bouncer not know. Oh! Back duplex right there. Into a cover. Taylor trying to keep it felt. Two count. Bouncer has uh, never really gone quietly when you know, trying to put him away, that's for sure. He's a fighter. Taylor may be calling for the end here. And uh, uh -oh. set up for that five. Is, uh, Bouncer countering, trying to counter. Oh. Flip, we flip the ref. You flip the ref. And a headbutt spear right there. Into a cover, but the ref is, or he's gonna go for cover. Ref's down. He clipped him and unintentionally when he uh, went to reverse that F5. Not surprising. Oh, curb stomped him. Curb stomped him. Into a cover. Oh. And Taylor May retained his Supreme Championship after Bouncer had him try to revive the referee, hit him with a low blow and a curb stomp combination. And another defense for, successful defense for Taylor May. Gonna have to watch out for the invitational shark soon. Someone's gonna be able to like, win that tournament and uh, get a title match whenever they so choose. Taylor told me he's gonna call that the Taylor Made Invitational. That's how crazy he's gotten. But he's, to like it or not, he defeated Bouncer right here. Hell of a match.